And meanwhile, as calls for justice and police reform grow, President Biden is meeting with members of the Congressional Black Caucus to negotiate national law enforcement changes. The meeting comes after the funeral service for Tyree Nichols, where Vice President Kamala Harris pressed Congress to pass police reform legislation. Drew Petrimo reports from Washington tonight. Good evening, Faith Jennifer. Yesterday we saw this emotional public funeral, families grieving, activists pushing for change. Today, members of the Congressional Black Caucus urging the president to take action. But in Washington, where gridlock is often the norm, the path forward is far from clear. You're doing it with your service. President Biden today at the National Prayer Breakfast, calling for unity and justice. My message to all of you and to the nation is we go forward. We go forward together. His words come after an emotional funeral for Tyree Nichols, a Memphis father who died after being beaten by police. And amid the pain, there was a promise. His legacy will be one of equal justice. It will be the blueprint going forward. Activists pledging to use the tragedy to fuel their push for change. Today at the White House, step one, members of the Congressional Black Caucus meet with President Biden. It is time for Congress to act. Caucus members want the president to speak more forcefully about police violence during his State of the Union speech next week. They're pushing executive action to change criminal justice laws, and they're calling for a revival of the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, which stalled in the Senate. We do need to have a real, genuine, authentic, and bipartisan conversation about dealing with police reform in America but Republican Senator Tim Scott, a leading voice on this issue for his party, is making clear ambitious legislative changes have a little chance of passing, calling them a non-starter. We should have simple legislation that we can agree upon. Scott and Republicans say they are willing to restart talks over a more conservative police reform plan that increases training and provides more resources to departments. 